Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the brand new scent from Parfums de Marly, Oriana. You guys know that I absolutely love Parfums de Marly. Their women's collection is one of my favorite niche collections. Every one of their scents is gorgeous and has like a unique take to them. And I love just the Parfums de Marly DNA, the attention to detail, and just how luxurious and almost royal like their packaging is. So excited to dive into this review. And if you're new, my name is Karina Waldron. I would absolutely love it if you hit the subscribe button, if you enjoy the video, the quality, the way I speak, then go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Also leave a comment down below and give this video a like because it helps my channel a whole lot, reach more people. Let's go ahead and jump into this. So Parfums de Marly went ahead and surprised us all with a new launch in their women's collection. And I was so excited when I heard about this launch. I love, love their fragrances, like I said. So when I think of Parfums de Marly, I definitely hold them to a higher standard because that is the impression that I always get and the experience that I always get when I try out one of their scents. So Oriana, I'll show you guys the packaging because I mean, this is, this is a little bit surprising for me. I find with Parfums de Marly, their packaging is, um, sort of uh, not neutral tone, but very calm yet very royal. Do you know what I mean? They never do super bright colors in my opinion, at least from what I see. <laughs> And with Oriana, we have this extremely bright bubblegum pink right over here. It is a hot pink for sure, okay? From the actual box to the bottle, this is definitely stepping outside of the box. And I'll give you guys a bit of a close up. I love, love the packaging of Parfums de Marley. It's very high quality, very sturdy, as you guys can see here. And then the bottle, of course. I'm obsessed with the Parfum de Marly bottles. Like they are just so princess, royal-like. I love the tassel that each bottle has in the women's collection. Also the little gemstone that they have over here. It is very, very beautiful. It looks stunning on the vanity and it's just like classic. I find this very, very classic. Let's talk about these notes before I get into the scent, what I think about it and how I perceive this fragrance because notes are not everything. Everyone has a different nose, body chemistry, and fragrances definitely are perceived very differently on everyone. So always take reviews with a grain of salt, try and get a sample for yourself to test out because I always love to point that out just in case I might not enjoy something or my I might love something and then you get it and it's a different impression. Fragrances are very personal. So I'm reading off of the Parfums de Marly website to get the exact notes for this fragrance. So top notes, we have mandarin, bergamot, and grapefruit. So fruity tones. And then heart notes, we have orange blossom, black currant, and raspberry. And then in the base, we have marshmallow, amberette, chantilly cream, and musk. So this is like a fruity gourmand take when it comes to the notes. Definitely a lot of fruity, rich fruity tones, a little bit of citrus in there and that marshmallow and chantilly is going to give it a bit of a creamy sweetness vibe. Now, this is not first impressions. I honestly don't like doing a lot of first impressions because with fragrances, it takes time to sometimes understand them and really grasp them. So I love to test out fragrances before I come on here and give you guys a concrete review because a first impression can be so deceiving because I could like smell something and be like, mm, oh, oh, okay. And then it completely dries down and it changes my entire perception of that fragrance. Do you guys agree? Let me know in the comment section. Do you prefer first impressions, getting the first reaction or a concrete detailed review? Let me know in the comments, okay? Now, let's go ahead and spray this the way I like to spray it, and then I'll spray it on my skin. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Okay, the opening is definitely a fruity, sweet vibe. It's quite creamy. You will get those 
citrusy tones in the opening like a spicy citrus tone in the opening but i feel like the marshmallow and that chantilly comes to the forefront very 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 quickly you pick up on the fruity tones but they are not super in your face like i'm not picking up every single note separately they are blended really really well and the creaminess is what I really enjoy about this fragrance. It ties all those fruity tones together and gives a really pleasant, kind of crowd-pleasing opening. So the opening, I feel like many people are just going to fall in love with because it's just beautiful. You know, there's nothing to it that is off-putting, that is too strange. It's almost like a familiar tone when it comes to fragrances. I really, really like that opening. Okay. I'm going to spray that on my skin. Oh yeah. That opening is really, really beautiful. And even though this is a very hot pink bottle, which will give you very summer vibe, and even reading up the notes, sometimes you might think that it's a very summery fragrance. I do feel like this is appropriate for fall because it has this very warm creaminess to the fragrance. So it will go nicely on those colder months. But I will point out that if you wanna wear this during the hot days, maybe you live in a climate that is really, really hot, it's gonna go. It's it's kind of like an all year round type of scent. It dries down slightly warm, creamy, and that musk is really beautiful. It's like a clean white musk to me. It's not dirty or anything like that. This fragrance is definitely for the girl that is just um, down to earth. She's, you know, she's a vibe. She's very playful. She's cool. She smiles a lot. It's a very mood uplifting scent. It's kind of like a happy scent. Like when you look at the bottle, I feel like it really, really represents this fragrance in terms of the color. I will be completely honest because I love to be honest with you guys and um, say that the color is not my favorite because you know me I'm a very neutral kind of girl I love a neutral bottle unless it's black or red I definitely vibe more with a neutral tone bottle so it's not my absolute favorite when it comes to the Parfums de Marley lineup but when I smell the scent I feel like this really represents what it symbolizes and it's just like fun, playful, free, let loose, feminine, you know what I mean? Ultra feminine and not afraid to show that. Mm. For me, it's the creaminess from that Chantilly, that musk and that marshmallow note. The dry down, you're definitely going to get those base notes. The fruity tones are going to subside a lot more. You're not going to, it's not going to carry through too much. So this is definitely going to develop quite quickly. In my opinion, I don't find it develops, um, slow. You know how sometimes you spray a fragrance an hour later, it smells completely different with Oriana. I feel like it develops quite quickly. So you get that burst of freshness, that burst of fruity tones in the opening. And within kind of minutes, you're going to get to that base and it's going to stay with that base vibe and become this very creamy, musky, feminine, sweet fragrance. The sweetness in this one, it's not cloying. It's not sickening sweet. It's actually a really pleasant sweetness to me. Mmm. Oh, and you know, when it dries down, the musk I find is the most prominent note, the musk. And again, it's a clean musk. Think of like clean skin, fresh out the shower. You just applied a really nice sort of sweet body cream all over. You're going to get kind of that tone and it's just very pleasant. The marshmallow and the chantilly will carry through, but they become very smooth and intertwined with each other. I'll say that the fruity tones, they won't subside completely. They'll stay in the background, but very faint. You get little hints of like a citrus tone, hints of citrus tone. But for me, it's that chantilly, that musk and that marshmallow goodness that I pick up on my skin. 
I'm going to also touch up on the little rumors that I've been hearing that this is being compared to Love Don't Be Shy from Killian. I do have the extreme version and I did have the Love Don't Be Shy original. And I will say in the opening, you might get a little reminder of that scent. Like the, the, the scent profile is very similar. Um, the opening sort of reminds me of Killian Love Don't Be Shy Extreme, but once it dries down, they are completely different fragrances. It's more in the opening. And I think it's mainly that marshmallow note that you are picking up. And it's kind of giving you a little bit of that Love Don't Be Shy take in this fragrance. But I find they're very different in the dry down for me. This is a less sweeter for sure. Less sweeter, more of that musk, more of that clean tone in this fragrance, uh, a little bit smoother. Uh, they're both gorgeous scents, but this one is just uh, a lot calmer, less sweeter le and, and more smooth to me, at least on my skin anyways. And again, this is, this is feminine. This is definitely a feminine one. If you love to smell like a girl, like a lady, this is definitely the scent you want to go to compared to all of the other Parfums Molly fragrances. And I'm looking at them right now with the female lineup. This is different. It's not reminiscing of any other Delina, Darcy, Athalia, none of them. This is definitely one of the standalones just like all the other ones are standalone. And that's what I love about Parfums de Marley when they create it, when they create their female fragrances, they definitely have their DNA because I get that Parfums de Marley DNA, but they make them different to the, to the point that you need them all. <laughs> To the point that you're not feeling like, oh, I'm getting like duplicates. I'm getting very similar vibes to other fragrances. Of course, the Delina range is a completely different story because it's a flanker of an original Delina. So they have a lot of similarities, but all the other fragrances in the female lineup are different from one another. And this is another one that's really different from all the rest of them. I feel like this one in comparison to all the other fragrances, this is the most, what word can I use? crowd pleasing scent. This is a very safe blind buy in my, in my opinion. This is one that isn't overly complex and complicated. So it's easy to wear and easy to fall in love with. Um, it is very, very pleasing for those around you to smell. I have received compliments with this one when I wore it. I think it's that sweet aspect, that smooth, sweet aspect in this fragrance. I tend to get quite a few compliments when I wear sweet fragrances. And this one definitely got me compliments in terms of the sillage and longevity, which I know some people really, really love to hear. This is not my most long lasting fragrance from Parfums de Marly. I definitely have other ones that are way more long lasting in terms of it lasting pretty much all day long, but I still get a good six to seven hour wear with this one. And if I wear it on clothes, it's even longer. I do overspray. I'm not afraid to spray this one at all. Um, when it comes to making it last longer and I'm talking about 10 sprays and I'm good to go for some that might be a little excessive, but to me, if I want it to project and I want it to really kind of leave a trail, I'll do that. The sillage, it's not super loud. It definitely is a little bit closer to the skin. It's a scent that you, it's, it has like a, a scent bubble, but very close to you. If you want it to project a lot lo louder, then definitely overspray and especially on your clothing, then you're going to get a little bit more of that louder projection. And that scent bubble is going to grow a lot more with this one here. So with the lean, like just comparing it with other parfums, Marley, like Athalia and Delina, those specific scents are incredible. Like in terms of the scent bubble, the trail and the longevity, I can do about four sprays or even three sprays. And I'm good for pretty much the entire day. 
So a little bit different and just a little reference when it comes to this one and the other ones that last a really, really long time. But all in all, I want to say that this fragrance, it's, it's a beautiful fragrance. It is definitely feminine marshmallow goodness. It's a gourmand fragrance. It's warm. It's sweet. So it's easy to love. It's easy to love. To me, this is a very safe blind buy compared to the other Parfum de Marly fragrances. It's not the most unique DNA. Okay. It's not the most unique DNA, but I appreciate the fact that they gave you something that is so easy to wear and is not overly complex. And I think that it is just gorgeous in terms of wearing it. It is gorgeous. Think of, I'm trying to think of a scent that really kind of reminds me a little of this. Think of like Giorgio Armani C Fiore, how that is just beautiful, feminine goodness. It's, it's like this one here, you know, it's that creamy goodness. It's very, very similar in terms of like the way that they play off on the skin. So if you love Armani C Fiore, if you already love, um, I want to say Killian Love, don't be shy, like the opening, especially and that kind of marshmallowy note, you are going to absolutely love this one. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. And I really, really prefer the dry down over the opening, I will say, even though the opening, this is a smart one. The perfumer did good because the opening will grab you. It will absolutely grab your attention because it's just so pleasing, but the dry down gives a little bit more sophistication to this scent, even though it stays fun and playful. It just adds a little bit more sophistication with that musk in there and tones down, um, that sweetness. It tones down that sweetness to become a more creamy, smooth sweetness. So I love the dry down over the opening, even though the opening is very captivating and slightly addictive. So some of you might even enjoy the, the opening more than the dry down, but that is my take on Parfums to Marley, Oriana. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and heard something new today. Definitely leave your comments down below and let me know. Do you plan on picking it up? Because I do know that a lot of you already have it in your possession. So leave your comments down below and let me know how it's working out for you. And also what do you want to see next reviewed on this channel? Leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all on the next video. Ciao.